Vicki Counts, National President of the American Legion Auxiliary. Welcome to the ALA's Virtual National Poppy Day Program. In this program, you will learn about the significance of the poppy, its history, and how you can get involved. Please enjoy the program. The poppy has been part of the American Legion family since the early 1920s. The red flowers bloomed following deadly battles in Europe during World War I. Because of this, the poppy became known as a symbol of the sacrifices made in service to our country. In 1918, Moena Michael, who later became known as the Poppy Lady, read In Flanders Fields by Canadian Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, and she vowed to always wear a red poppy as a sign of remembrance. Moena urged groups to adopt a poppy and to honor and support veterans. She was joined in these efforts by others in Europe, Canada, and Australia. In Flanders' fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row that mark our place, and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. In 2017, Congress designated the Friday before Memorial Day as National Poppy Day. On this day and throughout the year, members of the American Legion family distribute poppies. Donations received from poppy distributions support veterans, active duty military personnel, and their families with medical and financial needs. I wear a poppy because of the sacrifices of those who served our country, especially my father and my husband. For decades, American Legion Auxiliary Units have sponsored the National Poppy Poster Contest in local schools. Kids in grades 2 through 12 are eligible to participate. Every year, amazing artwork is submitted by talented students. Throughout the program, we will be highlighting previous Poppy Poster winners. There are several ways your unit can observe National Poppy Day in addition to distributing poppies. A popular way to highlight the meaning of the poppy is by having an honor wall. Every year, Unit in Post 433 in Gaylord, Minnesota creates a wall of poppies to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. They have been doing this project since 2014. The wall changes annually. This year they are highlighting seven service members who were killed in action. For the first time, they are including pictures in addition to names. The wall is on display throughout the month of May, and during that time they receive donations for names to be included. Visit their Facebook page to learn more. I wear the poppy because it represents our origins in Flanders Fields, it represents the leadership of the Auxiliary in bringing the Legion family together with this program, and I think it's a guide on for our future. I wear a poppy in honor of my father, my favorite veteran. The American Legion Auxiliary is once again partnering with the Outlet Resource Group, or TORG, for National Poppy Day. There are two ways you can show your support during their Honoring the Brave event. 
Visit the ALA units that are hosting a Poppy event at the outlet malls and make a donation. You can also shop, get a discount, and support veterans, military, and their families all at once. Shoppers who make a donation to the American Legion Auxiliary at the Customer Service Center or at participating stores will receive a Poppy to wear and Poppy Savings Card that will be redeemable for 25% off a single full-priced item at participating retailers. All donations go directly to the American Legion Auxiliary. Honoring the Brave runs now through Memorial Day, May 29th. Participating locations include Lincoln City, Oregon, Oklahoma City, Nags Head, North Carolina, Ocean City, Maryland, Park City, Utah, and Williamsburg, Iowa. I wore a poppy to honor my grandfather's service and all of our nation's heroes. Look inside an ALA member's closet and chances are you'll find some poppy accessories or poppy related clothing items. Now ALA members can show off their love for the poppy with a new bag. Our Riveter, an American handbag and accessory company, is selling a special edition poppy auto tote. And even better, ALA members can receive 20% off their purchase by using code WELCOMEALA. R. Riveter was co-founded by military spouses Cameron Cruz and Lisa Bradley. The company is based in North Carolina and employs military spouses who help make the handcrafted handbags the company sells. Visit their website to check out all of their products and don't forget to use your code. I wear my poppy to help me remember why I do what I do. We hope everyone has been enjoying successful poppy distributions or have had many poppy distributions throughout the year that have generated poppy funds for your unit. One obstacle many experience is how to use poppy funds. The good news is that there are several different ways that you may use poppy funds to benefit veterans, service members, and their families. Let's start with the five criteria set forth by the American Legion. The first is for the rehabilitation of veterans honorably discharged from the United States Armed Forces after April 6, 1917. The second use is for the welfare of the families of veterans of the above named period. Third is for the rehabilitation of hospitalized military service personnel returning home and awaiting discharge who require treatment in service hospitals. Fourth is for the welfare of veterans active military personnel, and the families of veterans and active military personnel of the above named period where financial and medical need is evident. Finally, poppy funds may be used for the purpose of poppy kits and supplies used to make symbolic poppies and poppy items that will be distributed for donations to the poppy fund. Now what does that mean to the members, units, and departments? That can mean essentials for a service member and their family, such as food, gas, diapers, and other baby needs, as well as cleaning supplies, things that are essential during these tough economic times. One of the ways this issue has been tackled at the national level is by creating a Memorandum of Understanding with Armed Services YMCA to allow direct donation of poppy funds to their food pantries around the country, co-located with areas of large military populations such as Fort Hood and Fort Bragg. Another Memorandum of Understanding has been created with Honor Flight Network to enable poppy funds to be donated directly to Honor Flights and may be used to provide medical necessities and caregiver support to the veterans participating in the program. To donate your poppy funds or for more information, please visit the website on the screen. Last but not least is our National Veteran Creative Arts Festival Fund. Units and departments may send in their poppy funds to ALA National Headquarters earmarked for use in our support of the National Veteran Creative Arts Festival. Regardless of the approved method your unit or department decides is best, please know that your donation will change the lives of veterans, service members, and their families for the best. If you have any questions, please email poppy at alaforveterans.org. Thank you for your dedication to our mission.
2022-2023 American Legion Auxiliary National President Vicki Capps has pledged on National's behalf to raise awareness for our country's prisoners of war and missing in action. Last November, she had the opportunity to join Team Long Road and learn about their mission to raise POW MIA awareness. Team Long Road includes U.S. Marine Corps veterans Justin J.D. LaHue, Coleman Rocky Kinzer, and Ray Sinahara. They spent six months walking across the country on U.S. Highway 20. Along the way, they spotted POW MIA flags in towns large and small. And a lot of people, especially in the younger generation now, does not know what that means. Those who understand the meaning behind the POW MIA flag may not realize search efforts continue. First thing is, why well, thought we brought all those guys home? And those are usually veterans, families. Mm -hmm. The other families are normally, I never knew there were that many. And I thought they're all buried in these really nice cemeteries like Arlington. Yeah. And when you show them, no, they're laying underneath pigsties. Yeah. Um, they're underneath housing complexes. Now, I have found that every American you tell that to, regardless if they believe they have a military connection or not, is appalled when they hear it. Team Long Road met families who are still holding out hope for their loved ones to be brought home. If you are a descendant of a missing service member, you can help the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency. They are collecting DNA samples in order to make identifications. To learn how, visit the website on the screen. Another area of focus for our national president this year is the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival, co-presented by the American Legion Auxiliary and the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. The festival brings together creative veterans throughout the country who made it to the national level after competing at local VA facilities. Local creative arts competition top winning entries advance to the national judging process and first, second, and third place entries are determined at the national level. First place winning veterans are invited to attend the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival hosted by a different VA facility each year. There is no competition at the festival itself as it is a showcase for previously judged medal winners. VA medical facilities incorporate creative arts into their therapy programs to further the rehabilitation goals for both inpatients and outpatients. This annual competition recognizes the progress and recovery made through that therapy and raises the visibility of the creative achievements of our nation's veterans. Each year, the week culminates in a stage show performance, writing exhibition, and gallery-style showcase of artwork. Companions of veterans are invited and have opportunities throughout the week to engage with each other, participate in a companion education workshop, and overall enjoy the festival week and watch their veterans shine. The festival to me is the bringing back all the veterans, the incredible camaraderie, the ALA, the veterans, the staff, everybody works together to make this entire week an incredible process. And it's just nothing but love. It's fantastic. I wear the poppy because it's the right thing to do. It reminds Americans of the sacrifice our veterans made to protect our freedoms. Words that come to mind, honor, duty, sacrifice, service, and remembrance. American Legion Unit 388 in Sag Harbor, New York, creates a memorial filled of poppies in remembrance of the fallen. The idea was inspired several years ago from ALA Unit 80 in South Old New York. Auxiliary members plant more than 150 metal poppies in a garden setting at the World War I Memorial, which is also the starting location of the Memorial Day Parade. For a $20 donation, a veteran's name and service branch is placed on a leaf that will then be attached to a poppy. The poppies remain in the garden for about two weeks and then are reused the following year. I wear my poppies in honor of our veterans.
We're so glad you joined us for this virtual National Poppy Day. We hope you are inspired and you learn things about the American Legion Family National Poppy Day and the ALA's mission of serving veterans, military, and their families. To our American Legion family members, best of luck in your Poppy events. We value your dedication and service. On this Memorial Day weekend, we please take time to pause and reflect on the service members who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. And remember to wear a poppy with pride. Thank you.